What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Kuro Koino Basket, episodes 16 and 17. This first one is called Let's Go. I am very excited. We're getting right into this match. You guys know how I feel about the pacing. Literally insane. I feel like they're not wasting any time. We're nearing the end of season one, and I know we have a lot more craziness to come to with season two and three. So if you guys want all that early and full, make sure you guys check out that Patreon up to one week for episodes early access. Links are down below. Like always, make sure you guys subscribe and click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Make sure you guys check out the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop right on into this. Kuroko no Basket, episode 16. Let's go. Let's do it. 8-4, off rips. What is this man doing? A double clutch? Was he about to go up for the dunk, but then went over for the layup? Whoa, what the hell was that? Even without Almine, they're still good enough to handle us. And that man is on another planet of good. So I don't know how this is going to work out. That's exactly what I'm saying, Rico. That's just him. He's a nice guy. And their defense is great as well. Okay. Tip it in. You get the ball yourself and score for yourself. I mean, in the, oh, like Shiro Torizawa, you know. They did say they rely on recruiting a lot. Okay, so they have at least done testing with what works best. And this is just their best, you know. Oh, nice screen. See, when it comes to coordination, that's where we have you beat, though. And teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Forget ones. Let's run this as a unit. Come on. Okay, Junpei with the jumper. You didn't even notice Kuroko right on you. Okay, jumper man. Oh, he's trying. <laughs> That's why I was like, okay, Kagami, but then Kagami comes in and does that. Oh, Kagami. What nationality are you? That's what happens when you come to America for a little bit. You just get all the hops, I guess. Come on, wake up, Kuroko. Momui has all the info. She is so good at being a detective. Yeah, but last time we won when this happened, so. And you got the boy Midorima here. Go talk to him. What do you mean? Just because you're wearing different glasses. Yeah. <laughs> what? This guy's a lunatic. Aumine is not even here and we're barely being able to keep up. Yeah. I know she's a part of the GOM. She's not just a manager. That's what I was trying to figure out. What else does she do? Was she like a morale person? Does she... Okay, I believe that. Very kawaii. Already know everything. What do you mean by that? Give me some details. That was a great steal. My boy Izuki. Over to Kagami. Just to go get, yeah, just to go get his own rebound. Secure the point. Boys are so simple. That's what makes Momui so goaded. She can read a boy's mind like it's nothing. Yep. Information gathering specialist. She is a detective. An intelligence agent, literally. <laughs> Look at all I love the whole matrix of code going behind her. All the variables, information. 
around her head. Yeah. Used to the things that Mitobe does in these certain situations. When you have a routine and you have a regular system of things that work, you just naturally default to things in certain scenarios, you know? So it makes a whole lot of sense. That's not wrong. It is technically from the past. We have evolved and gotten past it. I, uh, I don't know how that's going to work as a strategy, but I like it. Momoi knows. Momoi knows some shit. This is actually kind of scary. Hell yeah. So this is like generally improvement we've had since literally when she has these notes. Okay. So Rico is actually right. How, how? We just learned that. We just learned that. That's what I'm saying. And she predicts for how we would evolve. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Okay. That was... In a certain aspect, I do like how her and um, Rico kind of rival each other because Rico is very good at analyzing and seeing people's default statistics and what they can do and what their capabilities are with those statistics. Whereas Momui is good at seeing those statistics as well, but also analyzing them and going further with if he's great at these parts, these are the parts he needs to excel in. So if there's ever anything we're going to see that's crazily new in this game, it's most likely going to be this aspect. So let's, you know, like to do that with each and every individual player on a team. I mean, there's only what, 13 probably that make up the entirety of the team. Though, that's still insane. That's still insane. And I am, um, I already liked Momoi before, but I'm, she might be the waifu of the show now. Damn. I love Rico though. You know what I'm saying? A woman's intuition. Yeah, he can't even he can't even process any plays in his head right now. Okay. Oh, they were not expecting a silent ghostly screen from Kuroko. Okay, underpass right over to Kagami with secured dunk. Oh, backwards. That's my boy. We are down six. Still very doable. Except when Almini comes. I think that's why she likes him. He's the one she can't read. I don't know if she said that before, but... That whole shroud of mystery is most definitely alluring to, to women, so I respect that. Shout out Momoi. Alright, we're down four now. End of the first quarter. Still doable. Still very doable. Very true. Very true. Valid, very valid point. Giving them hell, rookie. See, I don't know. Rico might still be my wife. But I don't. I love them both. I really do. But you don't know what Kuroko can do. That's the thing. You said already, but just because you know he's gonna do something, you don't know what he's gonna do. Two people. Hey, I've seen this in high queue. Oh, yeah. You guys are falling down. We're still going up. You guys are fucking... You guys are late. Or should I say early to falling down. Oh, his legs. Uh-oh. I don't like that face. That means he's not going to be able... He's not going to be able to do that all game. Damn. Calling a timeout. Subbing right now. He's like, what? Me? I literally just started the second quarter. Yeah. Do whatever we can in the meantime. I mean, the other coach for the other team is right. You definitely cannot recklessly destroy your body. Because while in the meantime, you might win this game, but you might destroy your whole basketball career. You really never know. And without, without my man's hops, this is going to be way harder, man. And it's only going to get worse when Almine gets here. Alright. We're taped up. Yeah. As, as someone who is an expert in like analyzing physical data about people, she doesn't want to send you off to this. She, she feels bad. 
私だけの力じゃまだ未完成でもみんなの力を引き出しきれない自分の無力さに Shouts out Rico I love this girl He is not wrong at all He is not wrong at all <laughs> If anything you do too much Oh no, he's here. My boy Yami, eraser head, Sakuna. Oh. <laughs> They're gonna end the first episode here, aren't they? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. Come on. All right. On to episode 17. This one is called You're All Ridiculous. Let's do it. Yeah, we're down 10. Member change, and he is coming in. Oh, Lord. This music. Tell me why this is... This is probably the most hype I've been this whole show. The ace. Theoretically the strongest of the generation of miracles. And here we go. Yeah, we're 10 points behind and they're... Oh my. Mm. I like it. You look ready to go. Hell yeah. We did. We're not losing this game. And you guys can hear dogs in the backyard. Sorry, my... Uh, my neighbors are going crazy. Let me close my window. Yeah. In this situation, it's exactly what it looks like. Measuring up both aces. Like, your guy versus my guy, one on one. Our teams are over there. Let's see how this works out. There goes Junpei. Agami said, you are not getting over on me, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, Aumine is like, whoa. No one's done that to me in a long time. Ooh. Behind the back over to Kuroko with the speed up pass. I guess it's got to be the Kagami. <laughs> the ignite pass. I love that. It's so red fucking hot. Only Kagami could catch it. This man is a menace, not only on offense, but on defense as well. <laughs> and that's the end of the second quarter. We got just a little tease, just a little tease. So he's still warming up. Peak Almine would not have let that block him. Ooh. Candied lemons? What are they, man? I want some. Just sliced. Oh, those are just actual lemons. Just pure lemons. Damn. You got to at least slice the lemons, Momoi. Come on. Rico. Is this like a thing in between like games? I don't want to pause it just because it's a really quick thing. Oh, shouts out Mito. But him and his cook, I should have known with his family, his cooking, immaculate. But can you guys answer me two quick things when it comes to sports? Because I'm a little... Uh, unknowledged. Um, when it comes to wrapping, like how Rico wrapped up uh, Kagami's legs and or ankles, I'm not really sure what she wrapped up, and how Midorima ra wraps up his fingers. What does that really do? I'm not saying it doesn't do anything. I just I know it does something because a lot of people do it. I just want to know what it does. I've never personally done it. Also, is this a thing? What is this? Sliced lemons? Are these are these candy? Is it sugar? Is this just pure lemonade and lemons? Is are lemons supposed to give you electrolytes or replenish? And I'm, I'm curious. 
Because now I want some lemons, lemon slices so bad. Yeah, it's personal for him. Come on. Yeah, I, it's all depending on your perspective, yeah. Arrogance and confidence, two sides of the same coin, you know? More of a results kind of guy, and I get it, you know? Especially coming from their captain, um, Imayoshi. I like him. I can't not hear Laplace when I hear him talk, though. Statistically, physically, mentally, he probably should take a break, at least for half a quarter. But for his personal motivation and stuff like that, his confidence, he needs this. He needs to go against Aomine. He needs to beat him. He made a promise. I understand, you know? I get it. I get it. Leave it to us for a little bit. Eat some of these whole ass lemons. Replenish your nutrients. A real battle will begin the fourth quarter. Okay. Keep marks on mushroom and glasses. Ryo and Imayoshi. Yep. Kagami's gonna have to solo mark him. Ooh, there's music going on in the background right now. Come on. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to rely on any of my old stats. He is a fucking, he's a mystery. He's a variable. And if there's anything that can really test the limits of Kagami's power, it's that. So he is hyped. Imagine being like LeBron, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. You know, and like you literally have an aura on you like this in real life. Walking, oh my, it would be. I can't imagine. I really cannot imagine. Like I would love to have met Kobe in real life. Oh. God. Yeah, well, you also didn't think we'd beat you either, Midorima. So. <laughs> okay, Kisei with the motivation, with the confidence. And in a flash, he is gone. Literally a flash. With the two tallest guys on Seirin, he just comes in and then hits a fadeaway. That was really well played. That was really well played. <laughs> it's impossible for them to block that shot. Yep, acceleration is a huge thing, not just velocity. It's explosiveness? Oh my, he's not wrong. This is actually huge fact. Listen, he's... he's been... This is my face, bro. <laughs> what is going on? Don't don't get me wrong. He made that. And that was badass. But we're right there. <laughs> come on, Kagami. Come on. You know Aumine is on your ass, though. You know he's on your ass. Yep. Oh, I didn't even realize it was that far. Free throw jump almost into a dunk. That's like NBA level. <laughs> oh, I do like how uh, Almine is getting impressed. Very slightly, but he's getting impressed. Ooh, I like the way they're animating this. He is clean. What is this guy, Allen fucking Iverson? Yeah, what did this guy play fucking street ball? What is this, NBA Street V fucking 2? It is! This guy's a fucking legend! The way he just fucking majestically floats up? Oh my god, and he's gonna go under. No, he's going under. Oh my god. 
I think this guy's a literal fucking cheat code. This guy is literally hacking. Like what? <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, this dude, <laughs> I can't get over that whole. Like that was all fucking was wild. I literally was joking when I said fucking street ball. Oh my god. Three defenders <laughs> in the paint. <laughs> oh my goodness. Talk about a couple episodes. Oh, we're only uh, we're only getting deeper and deeper into it too. I'm oh so excited. We got Almine finally making in the last minute of the second quarter. And then he's going to play the entire second half. And even in that last minute, he went in. Well, first off, he was juking, putting the burners on Kagami. This man's explosiveness and speed is insane. And I love how they made the difference between velocity and acceleration. Not just you being able to go 80 miles an hour is insane, but you being able to go from zero to 80. And I'm not, I'm just saying 80 as a second. I don't I don't really he's obviously not running 80 miles an hour, but you being able to go from zero to 80 in two point whatever second, you know what I'm saying? Like the actual acceleration is insanely important. Yeah, that explosiveness. I, I love how they made a, a test of it. And then also the street ball, like his handles. This guy's fucking this guy's a goddamn maniac. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know, I don't know what to think. I really don't, but I Kagami. His, his height and his explosive jumping is going to be insane. I mean, he goddamn almost dunked it from the free throw line. Um, Almine and his speed going to be insane. Kuroko and his shadowness, obviously. I can't wait to see him come back in the when he does come back. I need to know about these goddamn sliced lemons. I, I want to slice lemon super bad right now. We got uh, Wakamatsu and Ryo, Imoyoshi, the rest. Um, I'm thoroughly impressed like all you guys who recommended i watch kuroko no basket just know i thank you guys wholeheartedly i i get very very energetic watching the show very excited i am thoroughly enjoying this hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel um Check out the Patreon, early access, full length, four episodes, one week. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.